Hello everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonia and this is where I share my die cast collection, mostly Hot Wheels at the present. Although uh, a lot of my subscribers would like to change that. So I'm wearing my green today and I have like two tops in my <laughs> whole wardrobe that are green and no car t-shirts at all. So let's jump right into it. I have a special episode. Every car that I'm going to show you pretty much is green. So I'm going to start off with uh, these two guys actually. And I do have a special collection that I'm going to get to a little bit farther down the road. These two guys, um, this Lincoln uh, is more of the, it's a recent drop. I cannot remember what case it came out of, but it's very recent. And then, you know, these California style cars are really cool. Both low riders. This one's pretty slammed. And I believe this one, if it had the axle, it's the one that would go up and down. You know what I mean? And uh, I just wanted to share those two because <laughs> they're so colorful. And it's uh, the Lay-In Lowrider. They've done this in like pink and blue. And here's the green one. I've had it for a little while, though. It's pretty cool. And then the Lincoln. My lights are doing something interesting today. Okay. Um, hold on. Gosh. Anyway, and then the Lincoln. I think they're calling it. It's a 64 Continental. I like those gold spokes. So hold on just a second. I'm going to do something here. Okay, moving on. I also have some RLC cars for you as well, green ones. So from the uh, Then and Now collection, we have these Camaros. I have the one, the, I think the one's from like 22 or 23. I think it was 22, the Then and Now. I have all of those. I've been out walking with a cat, so there's pollen everywhere. I really like the then and now then and now collection, the set. There's some really good cars in there. Eighty one Camaro. Next. This. Uh, Mazda Savannah. I, you know, I'm not a JDM or, you know, the style. I keep this car out. I haven't put it away yet. It's been out for a while now. And I just really like the color on this body style. I like the gold wheels. I think it's just so, it's just really cute. I like it. And then. There is the De Tomaso Mangusta, if you remember this from last year, I believe. Let me see here. Try to, I meant to have all of these already off, but I got a little distracted. And somebody was like, you know, they're easier if you push them up from the bottom. I'm like, yeah, you know what? It probably is, but I have girl fingers. <laughs> so it's not easy for me. I need to find some kind of little thing. Let's come back to that. <laughs> Do you remember this one? I absolutely love this thing. Um, I don't know why it would be, I thought it would be easier to get off. It's because it's not actually anchored in the base like the other one. So you have to. This I can just kind of roll it out. I really like this truck. Um, I think I have a red one somewhere. You know. 
and I put my own Christmas tree in there. It should have come with one. We've had this discussion. You've seen this truck before, but I just really, really like the Dodge Power Wagon. One of these days, I'll have to find the green, the red one. And um, I'm still okay. Up next, I'm going to try this again. I just popped it off there. And you know, I really didn't see anybody post these. Not really. Maybe when it first came out. I think some people posted pictures when it was, um, you know, getting ready to be dropped. And I didn't really see too many people that actually got it. I like it. I really like the color. I like the black hood even. And of course, these guys come down. On the back, it says Goose. Mangusta. Mangoose. And that might be one that you've forgotten about. Black interior. It's really cool. And of course, I don't remember how much it cost. 1971, de Tommaso Mangusta. Moving on. More recently, the 1962 Plymouth Savoy. This was a matchbox drop. You know, I only got one. And you know, these matchbox, they come in these sleeves. And so they have like the faux, let me see, background, which is kind of cool. Um, I only got one because I wasn't sure. And of course, this is even worse because there's double tabs. I've had a lot going on lately. So I've got to, um, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that off. Especially since it's, because it's double tabs. And, you know, I can't even push these up from the bottom. I'm just a girl. Anyway, this light's pretty strong over here. You know, it looked, it's better in person than it was in the pictures, I think. So, you know, hey, something different. And next we have another matchbox RLC car or truck, the 2019 Ram Ambulance. Rambulance. This is one of those uh, parks, National Park Service vehicles. I know some people really collect these specifically. And that's not what it is. What's it doing? Hold on. I'm going to adjust something here. If I can. Can't find it. Okay, that's a little bit better. So you can see the green background. And you see a little bit better there. It's kind of cool. It really looks like it's in a forest. And then the, um, and I've not opened this one either because these are so hard to open. I just typically don't. And you can see it's like it's, even the bottom of it, it's like it's in the, the forest. I only got one of these. Even though I really do like um, matchbox utility vehicles. I have all of those play sets. I have so many of the, like the five packs and all the, Utility vehicles. They do a really, really good job. And you can see the detailing on this. And I think this came out previously to me um, starting my YouTube channel. 
And I know I either did like a little thing on Instagram. You know, I can't remember. There's just so much going on. And my turntable, and I know you guys are going to remember this. My turntable, I go to lift it. I have this little table in front of me. I go to lift it off and it's the battery has leaked through it. So it ruined my little white table here. <sighs> you know, I've had that thing for a couple of years, but I can't tell you when I've had a battery leak on something. And it was a big old C battery too. Because uh, I hadn't really been using it with the battery and I just forgot to take it out. I've been using it with the little um, port and plugging it in. Bummer. I have another one in the box over here. I just, I've had it for about six months. I just haven't taken it out. Anyway, you remember this Porsche, right? Probably, in my opinion, for whatever it's worth, one of the best, if not the best, RLC car that they did last year. This thing cannot take a bad picture. It's just amazing. I mean, that paint is just, look at it. It's like a mirror. And then the detailing on the engine is pretty nice as well. And I do like this dark, it's like a dark coppery gold. I like the wheels on this. And you've got that striping there. Nine sixty four. And on the back, um, of course, it says outlaw. It's so nice. I can't put it away. I'll probably never actually put this car away. It's it's going to be somewhere, somewhere around the house. So, let's see. Before I get to some, why don't I just go ahead and editorialize right now? So I haven't checked the website Mattel Creations today, but I did check it last night and. Um, at that particular time, the overdraft membership was still for sale. Of course, nobody has any way of knowing how many they're going to sell or if it's open-ended and everything they drop is going to be, I don't know. Or I guess they figure that with something like that, they're only going to get a certain percentage of people that are going to buy it. So therefore, they really only need to... Um, you know, whatever production numbers they were looking at, they're probably going to stay close to the same. I, I haven't bought it. I figure I'm going to take my chances with my regular RLC membership. Um, I, I don't really want to spend $100 just on something like that because, you know, I don't buy everything. I do typically get most of the RLC cars, but some of them I have passed on. And I really don't want to deal with you know, a 10 day notice. And then if I don't want it, then I got to opt out and, and do all that. I really, my life is complicated enough and that just complicates my life, you know, more. So I've, I'm, I've passed on that. And, um, I, I saw a lot of really interesting commentary on Instagram about it. I, I wonder if this is not something that they're testing. Um, because actually, I was surprised a few years ago that they lowered the price of the membership. Because I think it wasn't like, oh gosh, that was the battery that just fell. <laughs> it's in a plastic bag. <laughs> and it just fell. Anyway, um, I think it was like $34 or something like that. But the problem I had when they were offering that membership is that it was, and this is like when I first started collecting, when I, you know, really got in back into it, I, I, it was like, there was this weird window when you could, um, buy it. 
and, and it was like no it was kind of like the same time of year, maybe like this time of year, February, March or something like that. But it was just like there was it would just go on sale. There was no notice. It would just go on sale. And I, I can't I, I have to wonder if and, and that's when even, you know, some things were a little hard to get. You know, I got pretty much everything I wanted, but I, I can't help but wonder if that time at that time. That um, because I think it was like a year after that, then it switched over to, you know, Mattel Creations. Um, And it looked like Mattel pretty much took it over. That whole deal. And, you know, shortly thereafter, after I believe that's when they reduced it to nine ninety nine, because I think maybe they saw the potential for money there for profit, because I think that whole little operation was just like a little sideline to them. And then all of a sudden it started doing all these numbers. And I wonder if it was, was it driven by the pandemic? Because it was about that time, I believe. So, and that's when I think they started really kind of standardizing uh, the offering on that. And of course, now you can buy an RLC membership for $9.99 all year. Otherwise, before when it was like 34 or something, if you miss the window and who the heck knew what the window was, I never could figure it out, but I never really got in the forums that much either um, because that was annoying as well. And, you know, then if you didn't get it during the window, you were just SOL for the rest of the year, which I thought was kind of crappy, you know, because what difference does it make if you want to pay $34 in the middle of the year and only get like six or seven cars, that's on you. Why would they not take that money? Anyway, so it's going to be interesting, but I do wonder if this is kind of not a little test that they're running to see just how far they can push people based upon the demand. You know, I don't know. I don't know where we're going in the hobby, because uh, if it's just one of these things that's just accelerated and it's just going to take another year or so before it levels out and people actually go back to work instead of. Um, you know all the little side hustles and things that people are involved in, you know, four or five income streams to cobble together a living. Now, who am I to really judge on that? But I would think that, um, you know, if being a responsible adult that you would want to work, you know, um, even if it's a part-time job or two, two part-time jobs, instead of this cobbling together, stuff you know i don't know shouldn't be judgy it's not my life so moving on the 2021 collectors edition you remember this i don't remember um the first one that dropped But I did um, actually, I think I got three of these because I absolutely love the car and I ended up selling one and ended up taking one out. You remember this group? And actually, um, is it Chevelle? No, the Galaxy, the Ford Galaxy 500. 65 Ford Galaxy 500. And actually, this was one of the ones that they offered in. Um, the last mail in before the one that's out now and you had a, you could either get the wagon or get this. And it was just like a random, you know, but I requested the wagon and I did get the wagon. So I don't remember the first one, but this is a good place to start the 71 Porsche 911. And I'm still on the fence about taking these out of the package. I have other another year, maybe it was 2020 when it was purple, um, that I did take out and did a bunch of pictures. So I thought that was nice. Oh gosh. Dropping stuff. And then here's the galaxy in the package. And you know, these are the ones, they do come in car keepers as well. I think it's kind of neat the way they do this on the back with these collector's edition. But they should because, you know, they're not, um, they're not 
really that cheap when you look at it. I actually did get two of these Porsches. I didn't realize I had two. I don't know why I didn't take one out, but maybe I will for a different um, video. The 17 Ford F-150 Raptor. I really like this bossy looking truck. The 67 Off-Road Camaro. I think this was like one of the last ones towards the end of it. And I had a really hard time getting this car. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think it was the GameStop mail-in. I can't remember. It may have been. And I almost didn't get it because I really don't like the off-road Camaro that much. But since I had the whole set, I was like, you know what? I, I need to just get it and deal with it, you know. The Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. I'm not typically a Laurel fan, but I liked this. Um, I don't know what the don't don't come after me. I don't know what the SGX stands for, um, but I kind of do like this body style. I like it. And something I usually don't do because half the time I'm not even aware that it's out there because, you know, I'm dealing with my complicated life. I actually got the chase. Uh, the 1980 Dodge Macho Power Wagon, which when I saw it, uh, I was like, OK, yeah, I got to have that. <laughs> I got to have this truck. It's pretty cool. And it does not have the silver. No, there's the Porsche has the black base. Most of them have the silver base. I just thought it was a really good looking truck. And if you remember, the Chase um, is the one that they. Um, it dropped during the what's the competition? I promise I'm not um, like have dementia or the early onset dementia. I just have a really lot. I have a lot going on in my life right now. Um, and I have had a lot going on in my life for quite some time. But anyway, um, during the competition that they have and it dropped and when the tour, the Legends tour came to the Atlanta area, it's always hosted at a Walmart way up in Swanee, which is the total opposite top end of town from where I am. And um, it's at least an hour, uh, maybe an hour and 10 to get up there. And I was, I've heard about the, um, you know, the crowds and because I think you have to literally go into Walmart that Walmart and buy, come here, come here. Yeah. Come here, turd. Here's my birthday boy. His birthday was yesterday. Hey, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday was yesterday. I'm eight years old. And look at me. I'm like a model kitty. I'm so pretty. I'm plushy. This is Sparky. You've seen him in the picture. So anyway, you have to literally go in the store that day, buy $20 worth or whatever it is from that Walmart to get the chase. And then I think there's like a line where you have to go somewhere during the event and actually, and I was like, no, number one, I'm not driving all the way up there. And number two, I'm not going through all that. So I went to uh, eBay and I don't even remember how much I paid for it. It, it was maybe 15 or 20 bucks. Um, but that's what I did to get the chase because I really wanted that one. So this year I'm going to try to pay more attention to, um, cause the first one's out. I can't even remember what it was, but it's a dollar general, uh, mail-in and it's actually a red color 
because I think last year it was like this really weird medium dark medium blue I, I didn't really care for it I did do all the mail-ins to get it and it's somewhere in my stuff upstairs so at any rate we're at 25 minutes and I said this was going to be a little bit shorter that's pretty much all I have that's his little play pad over there it's got those silver vine toys and there's catnip on that rug <laughs> see that monkey tail that thing goes like this anyway so um i've got a tough week coming up i already have my midweek wednesday video recorded and it's wagon wednesday and you should look for it because to my recollection there are no hot wheels in it i hope you guys are happy now um <laughs> and then uh for next week i'm gonna have some zamax that i'm gonna show you some loose cars some carded cars some zamax sets and i bought um mainline hot wheels from walmart.com and by the way please like and subscribe if you like this video um watch hours are like 1100 which is pretty good and subscribers is like 540 the last time i checked which is great um i think it's slowed down a little bit but that's fine you know i think i only have like maybe 18 or 19 videos up so i'm 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 you know I'm going at it. And after um, something passes, <laughs> I'm going to go at it even more. So um, my next Sunday video will be just Zamax. And um, I bought cars from Walmart.com. And these are mainline cars. So it's actually not going to be all Zamax, but it's going to be mostly. And then I'm going to show you what I bought at Walmart. Or I might even just make a short out of it, you know, and because I need to start doing this short thing. I need to get into that. So I might just make a short where I'm just literally unboxing and showing you because I bought like 10 main lines. This is just a crap shoot. So it's going to be kind of interesting. So anyway, that's all I have. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And, you know, I hope uh, those of you who like it are drinking uh, beer. My brother was a big beer drinker. So I hope he's somewhere, you know, having a, a Budweiser. That was his choice. Although he did get into um, what's the dark beer there at the end. Um, so anyway, enjoy your Sunday. Stay out of trouble. Be safe. <laughs> Drive safe. You know, you got to be careful out there on these holidays and I will see you soon.